Welcome to Real Steve TV, the p- premier hotspot in electronic gaming, gaming technology. I'm Steve. I'll be your host. I'm doing a mic check tonight, cause I might mic check tonight. Archimedes, yes, dude. He's one of the greatest and one of the originals that we have here today. What's up, Ark, dude? I feel like I haven't, I, we haven't connected in a while. <laughs> and uh, I hope you're doing good. But that's not true. Um, you were at the Bible study Twitch a few nights ago, and I really hope that encouraged you. Um, that's that's all. That's that's all I'm doing it for. You know what I mean? Archimedes, I got too wrapped up in politics and the craziness since 2015. In the last two years, I needed something as big as Warcraft to lose myself in to keep my sanity, but it's not for everyone. That, and that's a great... Dude, we, we hit the hard-hitting issues here on Real Steve TV that the the little streamers aren't going to... You're not going to get it from the... Or sorry, you're not going to get it from the big-time streamers, I mean. We're going to hit the hard-hitting issues that are important to the community. And Leaf Wet, my IRL buddy, brother in Christ, dude, good friend. Dude, give it up. Ouch! Give it up towards Leaf Wet. Ow! Love you. Um, but back to Archmagus's comment. Dude, the craziness since 2015, bro. I, I'm so with you. I was thinking about this today when I was looking at the clothes in my closet specifically picking out a shirt or whatever and i thought it is so and we've heard this word a million times but the polarization of what's going on in this country the obsession on the left is insane the obsession on the right is insane guys and i've become apolitical in the last year or two for real i'm like i'm done i stand for jesus um i vote jesus dude like i have to get on the get get off of this crazy train and i would say like if i had to say what are you politically i would say moderate with a lean towards the right but we're living in a culture where you can't pick the middle even like if you're middle that's not good enough for the far left or the far right it's like pick your battle lines republic you know hardcore republican or hardcore democrat fight and um bro like what the lord's showed me what i've been learning through studying scripture what i've been learning through my bible study um people might think i'm crazy bro but the bible is so clear with the nation of israel over and over again god tells the nation of israel if you follow me in my ways i will bless this nation if you honor me i will bless this nation um Likewise, if you turn your back on me, I will turn my back on you. And I'm kind of done with like, and I don't mean to be a De- De- Debbie Downer or anything, but dude, Trump is no savior. Trump is not going to save us. Joe Biden is not going to save us. Unless we had a political leader who said like, we are originally based on Judeo-Christian values and we've lost our way. You know what I mean? Unless that happened and him him saying we need to go back to God, which dude, I mean, again, I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but I just don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, our country is based off of uh, what you would call it, like separation of church and state. And that's fine. And then that's worked for a long time. I'm doing a mic check tonight. But yeah, the polarity going on, dude. Um, you're going to think I'm crazy, but as my eyes are opened more because of what the Lord's showing me, everything we're experiencing is spiritual. This physical realm is the vehicle or the tool called life that God chose, chooses to show us what this thing called life is. This is the experience, dude. And it's all spiritual though. These bodies house a spirit that this, our spirit is in our body. And it, this body is the tool that it's receiving the information and experiencing this amazing thing we call life. 
this amazing thing called life with its ups and downs, with its heartaches, with its victories, with its, you know what I mean? With its love, with its hate, with our good times, with our bad times, all that, you know? But we're experiencing it through this conduit, this physical realm, this physical body, this physical planet that we're, we're stuck on because of gravity. You know, this is like the experience, but everything starts internally, spiritually, everything we're seeing is spiritual dude we're under a spiritual attack it's obvious and i'm so grateful my eyes are open but it is obvious something is up bro the world dramatically changed since 91 dash divok code you know that the world changed dramatically quickly and we haven't recovered things haven't gone back to normal as a matter of fact things have slowly gotten more abnormal the the prices at the store and inflation is ridiculous for the average person with an average job there's been a lot of pressure put on families and people i do not see this any other way as it's a spiritual attack um i'm not some guy saying oh the end is nigh though i do at times wonder i'm like lord is this the beginning of the end are these the birth pains you talked about in the bible you know he says it'll start with birth pains he, he compares to the end of time the end of the world with a woman going into labor and when a woman goes into labor she starts having contractions right and those contractions are far apart but as the pregnancy and the birth is about to happen, the contractions become more frequent and more intense. And I'm torn. I, I'm no prophet. I don't know. But in my spirit, sometimes I think and I'm like, Lord, is this the beginning of the birth pains? And it's only going to get more frequent and more intense as we go into the next year, the next year, the next year until his second coming. I don't know. I'm not here claiming the end is nigh or anything like that. Um... But it does make you wonder in the very least we're going through a darker time than we have in a long time maybe since like world war ii you know that was a dark chapter in history for our country a generation of young men who had to sacrifice their lives for freedom you know for for the jews <laughs> again Guys, this is one of the many reasons I believe in the Bible. Why is it always the Jews? A coincidence? Why'd they wanna, why did Hitler and the Germans want to wipe out all of the Jews? Because Satan, since the beginning of time, has had a, had a pl plan to wipe out God's chosen people and in God. The devil knew Jesus was going to come through those chosen people. You know what I mean? And he harasses them and he doesn't want them to receive their inheritance that's promised to the nation of israel in the bible all right i won't get into israel's a tough one but we're, we're gonna tackle it one day but israel's a tough one and it's too much to explain my opinions on all that in like this stream but one day dude that's a good that's i should jot that down <clears throat> um but but whether it's in your own individual life or when you're looking on social media, TV, the news, whatever, the newspaper, whatever, and you're seeing the bigger picture of what's going on in the world, this is a spiritual, this is a spiritual thing, dude. And when you start to see it, you're, you're, you're free. You start to become free because the more you start to know what the truth is, you can live in the freedom of that. I've talked about this before, but we're all these embryos even though we're born into this world, we're still in the embryo. Most of us of a secular family, secular mindset. We go to a public school that's secular. They don't teach us the truth, bro. They, let's face it, education is not doing great. Like they taught us so much stuff in public school. And then they, all right, now go to college and go get a job. And dude, more than half the stuff they taught us, I do not use or remember or affected me and not to say it was all a waste because i did learn some stuff in public school and i had some awesome experiences in public school and i made some amazing friends in public school so it's not all bad but dude <clears throat> they keep us like spinning bro 
Dude, all right, let's do, let's get to the chat. Archmages, at least you have a constitutional republic in America. Here in Canada, we have nothing like that. We don't have inalienable rights, and we are having our country taken completely away from us. <clears throat> I agree. And the way I look at that kind of is I, I just feel like the Constitution has kept it at bay longer for us. But I don't I don't think we're safe, quote unquote, just because we have a Constitution. The thing in America, the games that they play politically and we're seeing it um, <clears throat> on an extreme level right now, we use the courts and the laws to play our political games out here and whether whatever your opinion on biden is whatever your opinion on trump is do you notice how well a trump's being gone after legally right because they're they're twisting and, and turning and playing that game and then there's now talk talk of doing it to to biden too they haven't done it yet with biden but now there's talk of oh biden's gonna get impeached and biden's gonna um get a lawsuit on him or whatever for what he's done so the people with power because remember to have lawyers to have the best lawyers and the uh, most awesome lawyers or whatever you have to have a lot of money dude that's one of the greatest injustices in our country if a rich guy gets busted for the same exact crime as a poor guy the poor guy statistically does not stand a chance the rich guy has a shot to good shot at getting away with the crime this lawyer on joe rogan once told his like testimony he stopped being a lawyer because of the corruption he's like i just couldn't be a lawyer i saw the corruption firsthand but he explained it like this you have two guys a poor guy a rich guy they both get busted for dwi the poor guy can't afford a lawyer so he gets a public defender public defenders are overworked and they don't have the time to like intricately look at every case they have their dude their desks are filled with cases of people they're not going to put the time and effort quality into your case to defend you the rich guy can hire three expert top-notch lawyers right and he said these this happened in real life this rich guy was able to get out of his dwi because he had such fancy good lawyers that they subpoenaed the company that makes the breathalyzer and they were able to prove that that guy, um, uh, that the, uh, they were able to prove that that company couldn't prove when they did the diagnostics on the breathalyzer, thus making the reading technically invalid because they couldn't prove or show when the last time was they did a check on the breathalyzer or whatever to see if it was working properly. Right? And so he's like, the rich guy has lawyers in, in the time and the money that they can subpoena the company that makes the breathalyzer machine to subpoena the the guys who are in charge of the maintenance on the machine right so they can go into all this depth to get a guy off where the poor guy is like no nah, you're in trouble you know you're guilty and that's a huge injustice and now we're seeing it play out on this high level with biden and trump and all their lawyers and all the chaos that's going on behind the scenes and well, not behind the scenes, the Trump trials on TV every single day, you know? Dude, welcome to Real Soapbox Derby TV, where Steve gets onto his soapbox. Archmagus, we are heading into a flat out civil war in Canada. Dude, that Trudeau guy is just, he, I don't know much about your guys' country or politics, but we see Trudeau in the American news often enough to get a vibe in that guy just, dude. He's like the cliche poster, frat boy, rich, spoiled kid, whatever, dude. And oh, I don't like it. Um, but we are heading at uh, Archmages. We are heading into a flat out civil war in Canada. It's democracy versus communists. And it's absolutely horrifying here, depending on who you ask. Some people are like, things are great. We should have authoritarian restrictions and punishments for thought crime. Like what, dude? This is unbelievable. And our heroes, the novelists of the past, um, George Orwell, you know, um, the guy who wrote 1984, was that George Orwell? But, so, you know, Animal Farm, dude, those guys were modern day prophets. I can't, some of the stuff in the novel 1984 
thought crime. That was so insane of a cool sci-fi idea. Dude, the thought they're talking about thought crimes. Archmagus, Aldo Hugsley's Brave New World. There's another one. Great. Yeah, absolutely, Archmagus. All that that whole era of those writers, they had been, they had recently seen the effects of communism. So they were in touch with it still. You take my generation and younger, we have a complete disconnect. Hence why Gen Z, communism, socialism is appealing to them. They are so far removed from World War II that they do not, they know what happened in World War II, but they, it doesn't register the same with them. It's too far like removed for that generation that they're actually entertaining communism, socialism, whatever. And it's whack, dude.